Hi folks, have you ever looked at a Detroit Diesel 1 box and just wondered how exactly the exhaust flows through it? Well if so, this video should help shed some light on it. The 1 box basically has two sections, an upper and a lower. The upper section is where the first half of your after treatment system sits. This is where your diesel oxidizing catalysts and diesel particulate filters are. The bottom half of the box is where your SCR or DEF or selective catalytic reduction, that's where that system sits. Exhaust enters through the top inlet and flows down through the DOCs. The DOCs are contained in the box and they're not replaceable, so if they go bad, the whole box needs to be changed. After exiting the DOC, the exhaust flows through the DPFs. This box has the DPFs removed to make things easier to see. This is where most of the soot in the exhaust is collected and converted into ash. The DPFs are removable, they're a regular maintenance item, they need to be removed and cleaned at regular intervals. Detroit usually recommends that you replace them for one of their reman units that has been cleaned by them, but I've also created a couple of other videos that should offer some different options for you. After exiting the DPFs, the exhaust gases flow down into the bottom section of the box. This is where DEF is introduced into the exhaust stream. Older models injected DEF and air into the exhaust stream. Newer models use an airless dosing system and only inject DEF. The exhaust and DEF mixture move along the front side of the box through this tube. Then they wrap around to the back side and flow through the SCR catalyst. Inside the catalyst is where the chemical reaction takes place that reduces NOx emissions. After flowing through the catalyst, the exhaust exits the box. So that is an absolute basic rundown of what's going on inside of a Detroit Diesel one box system. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. And as always, thanks for watching.